Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl Kelly with Everything In Between and on this video we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in North Dakota. So I'm going to do two different videos. The first one will be just the general video, what I think about North Dakota having lived there almost six years and then I'll talk in the next video about being African American in North Dakota. I think there should be two different videos for two different perspectives. So as a woman, single mom at the time or whatever, I want to talk about my experiences living in North Dakota and the the pros and cons of North Dakota um, this is my second time doing this the first time I did it and it was no sound so I had to get my headphones out and go old school on you I hope that this is better uh, and works better I did a 18 minute video before and found out there was no sound so let's get right in and dig into here so why should you move to North Dakota what reasons would you have to weigh uh, for moving or relocating to North Dakota so I'll just go basically um, and say that back in 2010, 2011, uh, some of you know that there was an oil boom in North Dakota and it brought a lot of people over to North Dakota to try to start over, to try to get new jobs, new way of life, uh, the oil, oil field, and um, it just brought a lot of uh, people that way. So one thing about North Dakota, so you guys know, if you don't know, it's a really big state. It's not one of the biggest states. I don't know what number state it is. I just didn't dig that deep, um, but it is a pretty big state. Um, there are not a lot of buildings you have Bismarck as the capital Fargo uh, those are the two main cities that you will see any semblance of any kind of a you know high-rise building or what have you so if you go on coming from a big city like Chicago LA or New York it will be a little bit of a shock to you you know you won't see it so much uh, architecture and land, and land you know um, architecture buildings and things like that it's just not there and most people going to North Dakota would know that already you already know pretty much where you're going to so to the west of North Dakota you have Montana to the north you have Canada to the south you have South Dakota and then over east you have Minnesota so it's surrounded by some pretty um, decent states you know uh, Canada I did not get up to Canada while I was there believe it or not I can't speak of the cities or, t or uh, I'm not sure if you would call it cities or uh, what is the name I'm thinking of provinces or whatever uh, that I don't know how Canada does it forgive me but uh, I know you have Shaskashawan which I probably said wrong and you have Regina uh, which I did say right even though it sounds wrong <laughs> Um, Regina which is actually a beautiful city so I'm not trying to have any digs when I say that uh, but Regina which I have not gotten gotten to but I hear is really nice I wanted to get there I think that's about four hours north and it's a pretty big area what have you a lot of development and things um, but then over to your west you have Montana you have Sydney you have Billings um, then you have over east obviously you have Minneapolis St. Paul uh, Mall of America and then south you have Rapid City you have South Dakota the Black Hills which are absolutely amazing uh, Mount Rushmore uh, Sturgis uh, motorcycle rally so basically North Dakota is surrounded by things that you can get out and do if you want to travel now as far as being in the state of North Dakota it's not a lot to do um, just point blank um, they do have fairs that come to town they have plays um, but everything's more locally based so you know rarely do you see like re you know even though the circus is no longer going with Barnum and Bailey but a big circus like that probably wouldn't get to North Dakota forgive me if it has in the past and I just don't know that um, but I'm just speaking in general that big venues and big um you know a lot of things that you see in your bigger cities that come around and travel on tour a lot of times they may not stop uh, in North Dakota and if they do it's going to be in Fargo um, so if you live on the western part of North Dakota Williston um, if you live near Sydney Montana on the border there yeah you, know, you have less actually less going on there than you do east so east where you have Fargo you have uh, Grand Forks you have the University of North Dakota uh, I'm sorry, uh, NDSU. So you have some places over there, UND, that um, that you can visit and, you know, kind of have some more, of, you know, company per se, depending on what you're looking for. But as far as just like having a huge city life, obviously North Dakota is not that type of place. Now I'm going to go into food. Uh, as far as cuisine and foods, uh, North Dakota is a meat and potatoes type of place. Uh, a lot of cowboys, farmers, agriculture, 
Uh, they're not, you won't find a, a, a huge amount of vegans there. Although I know a couple, but there's a meat, this is a meat steak, you know, they like their steaks. And quite frankly, I have never seen steaks. It's like the steaks are crazy humongous. Um, I'm like, I mean, seriously, these are huge steaks, like brontosaurus burger style steak. Like seriously, guys, like I never saw steak this big. Okay, off of that. So basically, as far as eating, it depends on where you live. So if you're in the West over by Williston, you'll have more locally uh, owned restaurants. There are some Chains, Taco John's, McDonald's, Culver's is in Williston. Um, I'm probably missing a couple, but as far as like places like Williston, they have a lot of restaurants that are locally owned. Los Compadres, I believe it's somewhere called Quinn's, I'm not sure, or whatever, but there are some locally owned places that are really good, offer a really good variety of food. Um, but Western North Dakota, like I said, is not as much choices as you will with the East. So if you go over East, even as East is Minot, it's not Eastern North Dakota, it's like Minot is really kind of in the middle, um, but has a huge difference. It's a huge difference between Williston and Minot as far as um, choices in, in dining. So in Minot, you have Longhorn, you have Olive Garden, you have some of your major chains. Um, you have a lot of Chinese buffets. You have Taco Bell and Taco John's. Uh, a lot of locally owned places, Vietnamese food. I mean, you literally are Thai food too. You can literally have a lot more to choose from the further east you go in the state. If you move even further east to like Grand Forks, well, Grand Forks, um, maybe not so much, but they're not far from Fargo. So if you go down to Fargo, oh my goodness, it's just I, pretty much any chain you can imagine just about is there plus so many different little bistros and places that are locally owned in Fargo Fargo is huge compared to everywhere else in North Dakota Bismarck as well which is the capital and Bismarck is about two and a half hours south of Minot so it's kind of the middle of the state as well and because it is the capital obviously there are a lot of things there and some resources there um, they also have a pretty big selection of food choices in Bismarck so as far as food you, you won't be you'll be okay Okay, I mean, it just depends. But if you go in the upper west, like northwest corner, like in Williston, although you still have choices, it's just no comparison to the choices that you'll have like in Fargo. So that's the food. Now, as far as hotels, they're pretty much a, a pretty big variety of hotels again same like food the more the bigger the city, obviously, the bigger the choices in hotels and accommodations. Um, I didn't see many camping grounds in the per se, you know, in per se in the cities or even around them. But I know that like in the Badlands and um, if you go, if you want to travel, you know, south like Wofford City and places like that, there's places that you can do camping and things like that. Um, so as far as accommodations, there's a lot there. Uh, you you be okay you have a lot to choose from if you're an outdoorsy person you could set up you know camp in various places if you want to stay in a hotel you do, they do have like four and three i would say three and a half stars about the most i've seen in the whole state i have not stayed at every hotel but i wouldn't in my opinion say that there's a four-star hotel in North Dakota no offense to anybody who is in that industry that you know disagrees this is my opinion um, but again they have some really nice hotels though like you be okay it's is they're fine they're clean and they're reputable um, as far as diversity Oh, well, <laughs> there's no no diversity, not much at all. Now, some people would differ with would beg to differ with me. And that's probably because they may be local and have been there when there were absolutely no blacks or minorities other than uh, Native Americans. But uh, I still will say that it's at most maybe 3.5 percent black. Um, when I got there in 2011, it will say it was probably 1 percent. When I got there and when I moved there in 2011, uh, at, literally, I knew all four black women that were probably within a hundred mile radius of Williston, North Dakota. Um, and I got to know them over the time. So that goes to show you what it was like when I got there. Now, when I moved from there, which was in 2016, it was quite different. Plus I had moved to Minot. So I saw a lot more black people, um, a lot more diversity, a lot more Asians, um, still not a whole lot of Latinos, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's diverse the further east you go. So, but as far as, as a whole, uh, uh, state not much diversity so if you're looking for diversity i would not recommend north dakota right now uh, as of this video 2017 like i said it's a lot more diverse than it was but it's still not what i would call a very diverse state uh, moving on to political it is a red state it is definitely a republican state um, a lot of trump supporters a lot of uh, people who are identifying maybe with trump not necessarily the the parts that we hear about but just the overall republican view um, 
if this is something if you are republican you will be fine there if you're a democrat you still will be okay there you still will you you know you won't be treated bad i mean everybody pretty much treats everybody with fairness however understand that it is a heavily republican state uh, and you will see Fox News all over. Uh, when I first got there, I noticed Fox News was in McDonald's. Fox News was in churches. Uh, I like literally saw Fox News in church lobbies, a couple of churches I visited. Uh, so it is heavily Fox News, heavily Republican, and probably I would I would pretty much be comfortable in saying that mostly Trump, not mostly, but many Trump supporters in North Dakota. So you have to weigh that if political, if you are a political person and that means a lot to you and your relocation, please understand that. Um, as far as the people, very nice people. I have no complaints um, as far as this video goes in general of the people that I met. Uh, everybody seems to treat everybody with respect. There is a lot a small amount rather of pettiness i'm just going to be 100 percent honest um if you go on some of the facebook pages and things like that you may notice it um i don't say petty in the sense that the people are petty i will say that circumstances that are petty to bigger city living people mean a lot to them so whereas you see maybe a situation in chicago la or new york that is just day to day like oh okay that happened it's a huge deal in north dakota now it may be very uh, various reasons why and i'm not a psychiatrist nor do i you know need to get into why um i just say the facts as i saw them is that certain things that i saw people arguing about or you know complaining about or or big deals to them was literally a walk a day like every day a walk in the park to somebody from a bigger city so keep that in mind too it did not affect my outlook on north dakota it did not affect my my situation in north dakota it was just something that i did notice um as far as the people though in being friendly everybody is friendly uh the, the the guys are very manly men they're cowboys a lot of them a lot of them like to race they like to drag race they like to be outdoors uh many of them grew up in on the farm uh you know they're meat eating cowboys they are a man's man and so you know they are very respectful i haven't had any problems i have had see i have seen some uh of the younger kids you know kind of do some silly things but keep in mind this is north dakota they don't have a lot to distract them so they make their fun and sometimes the fun of the tweens and teens is not the most desirable fun that you would want so and that's not everybody but there's just some people i've seen um and, and I, I get it you know um so you know but as far as the men they're respectful now i have not had any personal issues with any kind of abuse in north dakota from any kind of man like that but i will say i had heard while i was there of some situations where abuse was kind of prevalent uh it was on the news a lot it seemed to be uh, a kind of a problem now again i personally didn't see it this is things i've heard or seen on the news it did not affect me personally uh, but i did see that that you know every place has every region and state has their thing chicago has gun violence um some places other places have you know violent <clears throat> excuse me certain violence i love chicago so i'm not going to knock them but i'm just saying that every place has its thing excuse me guys but i will say that it looks like with north dakota and maybe certain areas that way um more domestic issues you know uh was something that i noticed a lot another thing that i noticed um a lot was a lot of pedophilia a lot of um i don't want to say a lot because a lot is relative it just depends on who you are already in a hundred to another so i won't say a lot but i'll just say that more than i have seen i saw a lot of people getting arrested for attempted kidnappings and uh pedophilia type things you know guys constantly getting caught online trying to lure in you know lure in some t teen and tween now does that's not all north dakota men please understand that i'm not saying that this is not a majority this is just something i noticed more than i noticed in other places i live it's like i said everybody has their thing um they also and i'm just getting all the negatives out the way they also have um have had a huge meth problem in north dakota uh, that is something you want to be aware of as well um 
And so other than that, as far as on a crime scene, I had I don't was never really afraid at all to live there. I lived with my son. I was a single mom there and I never had any issues. Thank God. I never had anybody walk in on me. Um, I never kept my door open because I was from Chicago and I just wasn't going to do that. But I know a lot of my friends who do. They kept their door open. They kept their bikes sitting outside. That was one thing that was so hard for me to get used to was seeing people's bikes just land in the yard like and nobody touched them so as far as crime I would say crime is super low there um, if you want to move your family there I think you feel like you were pretty safe as far as rent goes rent I would say you could uh, now you could get probably a two-bedroom for about a thousand dollars maybe a little less depending on where um, but when I got there in 2011 it was a totally different story because everybody was moving there so a lot of the landlords were price gouging and you know it was unaffordable it's not it wasn't affordable at all so you had a lot of people sleeping even in tents and in Walmart because it just was not affordable. But now that the oil boom has pretty much gone, even though I hear that it's coming back, um, it's much more affordable to live and rent in North Dakota and Minot in some of the major cities. As far as purchasing in North Dakota, I would say it's definitely a, a buyer's market right now. Uh, North Dakota, the homes, I don't know the prices. I did not buy there, but I'm pretty sure you could find something really really nice in the 150s to 200 thousand uh dollar uh home so and they look really nice and they have uh, areas where you could probably purchase something with beautiful views uh, as far as um the scenery well it's not a lot of trees in north dakota so understand that it's you know it's a flat land they have a lot of little hills but um i always said when i first got to north dakota it, it the surface looked like a cookie to me and i know that's crazy but like when i was driving down highway two and things like that i would look around in these little hills they little brown hills they look like what the top of a chocolate chip cookie looked like to me i know that's crazy but literally that's what i thought so um so it's, it's hilly you know, but nothing like major to see. I'll just keep it honest. A lot of flat land, a lot of wheat, a lot of sunflowers. Um, they have uh, a lot of beauty. It's just a different beauty. So you have to get used to that. When I first got there, I was not used to it. And I'm like, I need to see more to stimulate my brain. Like, I just see this openness and I feel like lost. But um, I got used to it pretty quick. And I started to appreciate what I saw um way more you know you might see a broke down barn or a barn that's no longer used off in the sunset with the sunset behind it and the grass blowing absolutely beautiful but it took me a while to to appreciate that um which me, brings me to the weather uh and the scenery north dakota has the best sunsets especially if you're over like west in the williston area unbelievable sunsets just beautiful and also too in north dakota during the summer it doesn't get dark until about dang near 11 o'clock at night so like 10 o'clock it looks like where most places look like at six no kidding so like the days are long in the summertime so it gives you a lot of time to be outdoors and do things um you could be fishing to literally as late as sometimes 9 30 10 o'clock at night it's crazy so they have beautiful sunsets uh long days in the summertime beautiful summers the summers get actually really hot i did not realize this i thought north dakota was like at the most summer times might get 70 maybe but no north dakota got like to 100 and some degrees uh summer of 2016 i'm not sure when you're watching this but literally it, it, it definitely can get up to 100 degrees. It can get into the high 90s and stay there for quite a while. They have very short summers, but they're very warm summers. So um, in the short summer part, like that sucks, <laughs> but at least, you know, they do have it. And if you get out there and make the most of it, you can do so much. So as far as the timing, I would say anywhere from October to May uh, literally is winter. So like it's a very short summer. You have like June, July, and August. September can be pretty warm and decent, but I've also been there years where September was like in the 60s. So, you know, it just depends on what you like. Very short summers, but very long winters. Speaking of winter, cold, cold, cold. Oh my goodness, guys. 
it is so cold in north dakota so like if you don't have a down jacket and a big fuzzy blanket and a big dumb coat <laughs> like you will die north dakota is cold beyond cold beyond cold like it is the cold that you probably have never ever witnessed it is so cold there in the winter time so the snow is ridiculous <laughs> the cold is ridiculous um literally last winter when i was there uh the school system i think we had like 18 inches of snow and they were like you can still send your kid to school but we'll be okay if they're late it was like up to my knees like you had to walk like a snowman like it was crazy the amount of snow that they can that can dump on north dakota um i love snow it's pretty to look at i just didn't want to live in it for the rest of my life but it's beautiful um it's a lot of snowmobiling you can do a lot in the snow obviously with that much snow the sky's the limit for the kids you can go sledding i'm talking about everything but there is a lot of snow as far as the cold unbelievable cold so it was not a big deal for it to plunge below 30 degrees uh 30 degrees below zero and i mean the temperature not the wind chill so you could literally step outside and freeze within a couple minutes so it was ridiculous me personally i couldn't take it no more but for some people it's a walk in the park i couldn't do it it was crazy like it is so cold that you could open the door and literally the wind wouldn't blow because it was too cold so like it was a still that you haven't heard it was a, a quiet that you have i hadn't heard like it was crazy no bird like no movement no animals nothing just still cold i mean it was crazy so understand that north dakota is cold in the winter time be prepared do not think that you can just come from chicago because you think oh it gets cold there too and yeah it gets cold in new york no it's a cold that you have not witnessed excuse me <coughs> sorry guys so anyway i just want to um still talk about this a little bit more but i'm gonna wrap this video up also um i want to say that as far as dating well ladies there is a huge ratio of men to us so when i got there in 2010 2011 i had heard different statistics i don't know which one was really true but all of them that i heard uh was definitely at least 50 to 1 men to women so every for every one woman was about 50 men but i also heard that it had gotten up to 83 to 1 i don't know i do know it was a ton of men there of every kind of man you would could, could believe and in this case i even mean black men too because a lot were traveling there for money and for jobs and things but it wasn't still a lot wasn't a lot of black men but it was every kind of white man that you could possibly ponder up in your mind like so if you're i'm sure it's still a lot there now if you're a single lady and you want to you know get back in the dating scene and it just seems like no, there's not many men around head to north dakota i'm positive you will find somebody that will fit you there um they as far as their north dakota state fair um they do have fairs that come to town a lot of their entertainment is local but they do have the north dakota state fair which is amazing it's about a seven day eight day long fair i think seven or eight days and they have a carnival they have uh racing they have concerts and they have pretty big name concerts you know um they have a lot of country concerts so I, I won't even pretend like i know the names of some of these people but you know it's like those people you know when you hear it i'm not a big country fan so i only know the major country stars you know but i will tell you that anybody major has been there probably um because i remember it uh they have uh uh, a lot of concerts that come to fargo so you know you do get your opportunity to go get entertained you may have to travel because if you're in williston you may have to go all the way to fargo just to get to a concert but i noticed that with the locals they don't mind that like they're okay with traveling like six hours to a concert which blew, which blew my mind but it is what it is you know um and then you like you have south dakota to the south with mount rushmore which is about a five hour drive from williston um absolutely worth it definitely go to mount rushmore and go visit the black hills if you get to north dakota um they have a lot of things in new towns a lot of indian i mean uh, native american reservations um i try to be politically correct in my speech forgive me but um a lot of reservations a lot of lewis and clark uh, a lot of buffalo so as far as the wildlife you'll see a lot of uh buffalo you'll see a lot of horses and cows um a lot of access you know um it's crazy because where i'm from they literally had cows in our local zoo 
so and whenever i told anybody that from north dakota they would crack up because i'm like they literally have cows in our zoo so you know a cow is nothing in north dakota a horse is nothing in north dakota uh, so if you want to see a lot of you know buffalo and wildlife and things you north dakota has a lot to offer they actually have rattlesnakes in the badlands the badlands are amazing um do your research on the badlands it's a lot of history and like a lot of knowledge about our system and um how evolution and uh, evolves and things have happened with the rock and the things uh, i don't even get me started i'll sound dumb but it's like a lot of things you can learn about the badlands and how it was created uh from water and things like that it's totally amazing a lot of beautiful places you can go and look out over the um cliffs and things into the badlands unbelievable beauty so i'll wrap this up by saying north dakota is an awesome state if you're thinking about relocating absolutely do your homework do your research there's uh, colleges there ndsu und great uh universities there's um, great high schools oh i did not talk about the school system so as a mother i had a, when i went there my son was seven when we left he was 12 um I will say that the school system was really good, in my opinion. Um, the teachers were nice. I'll talk about more of how it relates to being African American or a minority in the next video. But as far as generally, I would say that is a very good school system. The teachers seem to really care. Um, I didn't feel that, you know, they lacked pretty, you know, m really anywhere now williston north dakota just got an awesome beautiful state-of-the-art new high school which is awesome um mina has a beautiful some a beautiful high school uh again i have really no complaints in the school area uh, I don't know much about any other areas of North Dakota school wise because I only stayed in Williston and Minot, but I'm sure that all in all, I would safely say that they probably and do from where I experienced have a really good school system. Um, but again, I'll talk about that as it relates to being a minority in the next video because it's a little different in my response with that. Um, so basically, if you're thinking of relocating to North Dakota, my all in all experience was a good one. Uh, again, you have to know where you're going, know that you're going into a rural area know that you're not going to be in a big city life there's not a lot of trees it's not as much to do uh but the people are nice it's a republican state and it's a great place to raise a kid if that is what you're looking for so thanks for tuning into my channel please like and subscribe i'm always doing videos on various things <clears throat> i'll have a playlist where you can go straight to which is what it is you're looking for and i'm glad that you guys came thank you so much and i'll see you next time